we're back for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan, together with our amazing writer, Amy Malloy. It's Friday, which means we're here to raise the roof on your mood and help you to ease into the weekend. It's also National Happy Hour Day. What? What? And whether you're able to go to the pub or not, you can still tap into the soothing powers of happy hour. More specifically, the sense of belonging we get when we're at our favourite local, especially when they know our order. Research has found having a local pub or bar has emotional and social benefits. It makes sense. Feeling like we're part of a community has a positive impact on our well-being. We've all felt that warm glow when someone knows our order, compared to the wrong name written on our coffee cup. And treating someone else to a drink gives us a warm and fuzzy feeling. Because generosity boosts our self-esteem, strengthens friendships, and improves life satisfaction. If you're drinking alone, you can still get the buzz. Just add a sense of connection to your order. So, what can you do tonight to improve your sense of belonging? We've got a few ideas. Do a cocktail drop on one of your neighbour's doorsteps. Zoom your friend as you pour your first glass of wine. Plan the conversation in advance. It can feel formal, but it's bonding. Share one thing you're proud of this week. Share one challenge. Share one funny moment. If you're having your happy hour virtually, the New York Times ran an article on how to have a successful virtual happy hour. They recommended getting dressed up, getting comfy, ah, and keeping it small. More than 10 people and you need a moderator, apparently. The best advice is, focus on your intention. This is about building a sense of community and belonging. Avoid conversations that are diverse. No drunken debates, thank you very much. Finally, set a time for last orders. The best things come to an end, even virtual happy hour. You want people to leave feeling like they want more of each other's company. The best happy hours end with a text. I can't wait to do this again. Whether you're at home or out, pour a drink, pull up a chair, take a moment to feel grateful for the people who know your name. Some of the happiest hours are those we spend together, either in person or as a face on a screen. I'm Casey Donovan, and you've been listening to The Space, a podcast by Amy Malloy. We're back tomorrow with our bonus weekend episode, a mindfulness tip to renew, revive, and feel alive. Space out. <laughs>